Well, I remember having told you all that Fanny Willis was told to shut up. Now, did Fanny Willis take the advice? Certainly not. She's a strong, independent black woman, don't need no man, so she will not shut up. <laughs> it's, this is unbelievable. It's Monday, April 1st, 2024. I'm Stuart Allister. From Newsweek, Fannie Willis calls herself, quote, face of feminist movement, close quote. How in the world did we get here that Fannie Willis, this corrupt DA, <laughs> she has now become the face of feminism? Just, just stop and think. She's a DA. A DA is charged with prosecuting crime. That, that is your job, to prosecute criminals. How in heaven's name did she become the face, the face of the feminist movement? I'm telling you right now, she didn't. All right, before we go any further, why don't you wreck that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and press that notification bell so you never miss an episode. I'm telling you, she ain't the voice of the, the, the face of nothing. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis says she feels she has become the face of the feminist movement amid the failed effort to disqualify her from prosecuting former President Donald Trump. Willis last year charged Trump and 18 others for efforts to blah, 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 overturn the election. Her investigation focused on Trump's phone call to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, in which he allegedly asked him to find enough votes to tilt the election in his favor, and the alleged plot to submit a false slate of pro-Trump electors to the Electoral College. Trump has pleaded not guilty to all charges, maintaining his innocence. You do know that none of this Everything that it just that, that you just read, none of those are crimes. Not one single one. You know, that, that, that's what you need to know. Because people think, well, number one, he was indicted. And since he was indicted, well, that, 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 that means he's guilty. No, it just means that you can indict a ham sandwich if you want to. That's all that means. Okay. Everything that was everything that was said here that you just read, none of those are crimes. Because do you know that right now, you can call your Congress person and tell them, you better find the votes to get this HRMM whatever bill passed. You can do that right now. Do you know what that is? That's encouraging your representative to do something for you. As long as you didn't bribe them, or coerce them. You haven't committed a crime. It's spelled out in the Constitution. You get to address your government for grievances. In fact, as the President of the United States, Donald Trump had the obligation, not the right, the obligation to make sure the elections were fair and honest. <laughs> I, you know, hey, I'm not a DA. However, the case has was halted after attorneys representing one of Trump's co-defendants raised concerns about the relationship between Fannie and blah, blah, blah. You already know about that. Defense attorneys argued their rom romantic relationship should have led her disqualification led her to disqualification alleging the pair benefited from taxpayer dollars which they all did they all benefited all of them even now even now willis however maintained that she engaged in no wrongdoing and that her relationship began only after he was hired judge sean uh, mcafee ultimately ruled that he ultimately, ultimately, he ruled that she can do whatever she wants. That you want to know how he ruled? 
He ruled that she gets to do whatever she wants. Why? Because she's a strong, independent black woman, don't need no man. During an interview with CNN over the weekend, Willis said that she's seen she has seen an outpouring of support from women amid the disqualification efforts. My goodness gracious. You mean there are women who are supporting you? Wow. I I I, I wonder why. Is it could it is it possible that they know you're corrupt and they are as well. No, no, none of those women ever that didn't find it uh, a bit untoward. You gallivanting around the world with a married man. Those 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 women who are who are lauding your efforts to get the orange man. They they they, they didn't think that you taking uh, vacations with a married man, that that wasn't a problem? Unbelievable, man. Quote, I told Jeff one day, I didn't think I was the face of the feminist movement, but somehow I became it. And I think that women feel like women are treated differently when they're professionals and when they're proud to see someone that is strong and trying to do do the right job. See? I, I, I tried to tell you, and you just poo-pooed me. Fanny Willis does not have to abide by the rules. She can say whatever she wants. You see, the rules don't apply to her, nay, the law does not apply to her. Why? I already told you. Do you ever even take notes? She's a strong, independent black woman, don't need no man. That's her qualifications, by the way. Willis said she is flawed like every human being. Wow. Wow. Imagine having to say that. Feeling as though, no, no, no. Just stop and think about that. Willis said that she was flawed like every human being. Is that so? My goodness gracious, that's so big of you <laughs> to admit that, you know, you're flawed like the rest of us. Because, Fanny, none of us thought you weren't. <laughs> There's not one of us that locked that looked at you and said, "Wow, now now that that's a perfect woman." Her team has continued to work on the case amid the attempts to delay to delay. She said, warning that the train is coming. Yeah, I, you know, she won't stop. "Quote: I am not a perfect human being, but what I am is a hard-working human being, and a human being." being that loves the community. I am not a perfect human being, but what I am is a hardworking human being and a human being that loves the community I serve. And who understands this seat does not belong to me, really. Ooh, brother. Fanny, I know what your mouth is saying. I, I know you're, this is, that's how your mouth is moving, but you don't even believe that. It belongs to the people. Well, I'm, I'm just curious then, when you gave Wade all that money, did the people get any of that money? <laughs> did, 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 did the people get a cut? And as long as I'm here, trust me, she's hoping that that won't be very long. I'm going to try to do the job in a way that is <laughs> honorable. You know, running around, spending cash with a married man. I've <laughs> done nothing wrong. Hey, 
I've tried to tell you. I've, I've, I've tried to tell you. Arrogance is a disease that is not easily cured. Okay? Most people who are absolutely just about themselves, they don't know it. That's part of it. So what look, if 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 you get a disease and you don't know you have a disease, why in the world would you go to a doctor? Why would you try to root out the disease? There would be no reason to root out a disease that you don't even know you have. Well, arrogance is that clandestine evil that infects every bone in your body and she reeks of it. Newsweek reached out to Willis's office for comment via email. Her remarks drew scrutiny from conservative pundit uh, Megan Kelly, who wrote in a blog post, she does not believe Willis is a feminist icon because she isn't. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure who told her that. Do you think that someone told her that? You are now the face, the face. I'll tell you who you're the face of. Your face could be plastered right, right alongside of Anna Navarro, um, Sonny Hostin, uh, Joy Behar, and uh, Whoopi Goldberg. You could have a career on The View. Now that much I can guarantee. But all of this is because she is eyeing the governorship. At the, at the very minimum, she is eyeing the AG office. Trust me, she sees this as her shot. And so she ain't gonna stop talking. Okay, she's gonna keep on talking. I, 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 I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you, tried to warn you. But no, 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 you didn't believe me. Stu's a moron. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I am telling you. The reason she is doing all of this, they told her in no uncertain terms, stop talking. They told her in no uncertain terms, just do the job. Nothing fancy, no frills, no thrills. Just the facts, ma'am. That's what a DA does, but not when you're Fanny Willis. Because when you're Fanny Willis, you're a strong, independent black woman, don't need no man. All right, that's it for now. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.